and welcome to Green Room. Today I have what I will call like J Fashion, Harajuku Fashion, Japan Hall 2019. Um, I just want to clarify that I actually save a couple of money for doing this trip, so that's why I actually bought quite some and because it was um, lucky pack season or happy bag or whatever they call it I just took the opportunity and took the one from Angelic Pretty that you already saw in the other video well let's just start first of all I want to show you these uh, WC W hard C uh, cardigan pastel cardigan even though I already have the pastel cardigan from Lacio this one is thinner and actually has more color so I thought it was pretty cool then after that I went to um, listen flavors and I got only one t-shirt because the t-shirts are so expensive they cost like 40 something euros and uh, by the way this one was in sale so I think I paid like 20 euros for it something like that something in those lines well, the t-shirt from Listen Flavors has little twin stars. You can actually have different designs. They have my melody. What I like the most is that in the back, in the neck, you have like the same logo in the back. And I picked the black one because they have also a navy one. But I thought the black one was like, you know, it's, you see all the colors pop. And that's what I like about it. And this says little twin stars and they're writing this really Pegasus and I thought that was pretty cute. Yeah. And I like it, it fits perfectly. They only have one size feel all, but it's like more like a loose S or like a fitted M, depends on what your regular size are. Then from Harajuku I got a couple of things. I went to Liz Lisa, even though Liz Lisa is kinda good, but I seriously think the sizes are way too crazy for me and so and the dresses are way too short and I'm a petite size woman and I still think they were too short from there I only got a pair of shoes this one's were let me take them out this one's were on sale I think I end up paying like 20 euros exchange currency exchange and those are this ones which I think they're absolutely adorable I got the S size no this ones no this ones are the L size that's the other thing I don't understand this one's supposed to be an L and I'm a 36 or 36 and a half in American that will be five and a half or six and like I think this is a bit weird because in any other store I usually got an S or at least I try to get an S so um, those fit perfectly so I have no complaints and actually they were better than my winter shoes that I took with me thinking that it was going to be super cold and it was coldish but not cold like Austria so my bad my mistake and I ended up getting these very pretty ones and I use them even on my birthday because you can see I walk a lot with them they're pretty comfortable I like them the next thing I got was from this store that I really don't know how to describe it. Um, I don't know exactly how to say the name, but it's called CSTMP Casual Shoes. I got it from the one in Harajuku. I went to Harajuku three times and three different occasions because we found a very nice place to eat ramen in La Forret. I think it's called like that. And one of those times I saw these shoes that were on sale. They cost like 30 euros or something like that. I like the chunky heel of it. And I thought, yes, that's a perfectly nice idea. Um, I put some insoles inside because they kind of fit very um, big. Oh my God, I cannot take the insoles out. Ah, they kind of fit very much uh, big in the back and um, yeah the lady only had a medium size I got them in medium I don't regret it because they still fit they fit a bit big but they're beautiful and I thought they are very good to use with outfits with Lolita outfits and even with some of my casual wear so that's the main reason why I got them and I, I think they're quite heavy let's just see how the quality is because 
until now I was having a very good um, luck with shoes in Japan by actually finding my size into until I went to this place called Bubbles and I know the back is super cute and adorable and from Bubbles I didn't got much I don't know where are my earrings yes but my earrings are not here I'm going to look it up but um, I got this pair of shoes from Bubbles and I love them they're like absolutely adorable and very badass kinda and chunky but there's one problem with them they broke at this point already two times three times to be exact and I glued them and then it just broke again and now they glued it this to the shoe so these shoes weren't cheap these shoes cost me like 70 euros and I saw them and I immediately loved the shoes from Bubbles, but I don't know if I just come from a bad patch or what is the deal, but these shoes are pretty and comfortable and they're a size S, but truly, the fact that I need to glue 70 euros shoes, are you kidding me? So yeah, I, I feel like I couldn't actually get a better pair of shoes for the amount of money I put with this ones. So if you go to Bubbles, buy shoes on your own risk. The other things I got was, oops, the other things I got is when I went to Neil Perch. Yeah, I went to Neil Perch. Um, I love the store, but before I actually was the lucky pack that I got, I decided that I was not going to buy anything because anything that I bought that I really liked from the store was like 200 euros and like I just couldn't bear myself to pay 200 euros for such a like small item and no thank you so I ended up getting the smallest lucky pack of all and then the smallest lucky pack I got a sweatshirt with um yeah with a rocking um little pony thing yeah it's very pretty and very stretchy and like I said this is like one size fits all so this one fits me like a glove and I really like it then I got from the same lucky pack I got those shirts they're like this like this one has like a sailor color this one actually fits a bit too tight on me but I can use it on under dresses so I thought it was pretty cool so I still need to pair up with some of the dresses to see which one will fit better with it. So that's the main reason why I'm keeping them. Also, the frilly things in here are so cute and adorable, very pretty. And the quality is okay for what I, for what I pay. I pay like 110 euros for all this. Then I got the white one with this kind of Peter Pan color. This one is a bit translucent, so you have to be very careful. Like, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but if you use any other color that is not a beige bra, they will show for sure. Like, really, there's no way you can escape from this. And that's why it's better to use it under, like, a dress. Then I got a t-shirt. This t-shirt is, like, very beautiful and actually has, like, a like an ice cream cone and the fabric is very very thick for some reason from the other two tops is kind of thin so I think that even though they're like long sleeves I think they're mostly for wearing under things that's my assumption because this one is super thick and um, I think this is a transfer decal so I'm hoping that when I wash it doesn't actually go to ruin I'll wash it cold but still the other thing that I got from them was this dress. With this dress, I'm, I'm a bit conflicted, and I'll tell you why. Even though like these dresses are so beautiful, right? The pro my biggest problem with this dress is like one of those dresses that like it actually fits your boobs, and then it goes like like a baby doll dress. My problem with the baby doll dresses is I don't feel good in them. I feel like they make me look fat. They make me look pregnant so I don't know exactly what to do with this baby I really want to keep it you know perhaps someday I get pregnant <laughs> I don't know <laughs> 
But at the moment being, I, I just don't see myself using it. Perhaps I will bring it to the next bring and buy from the Lolita community here in Austria and I will just sell it because I don't see myself actually wearing it. Um, besides that, they have some bows. This one's supposed to be like a bracelet, but it's a bit like I don't understand the concept. Perhaps it's too abstract for me. Like the hair bow, perhaps I will use it or perhaps not. Um, this kind of accessories, I, I am very confused about it and I don't know if I like it or I dislike it. Just tell me in the comments what do you think about this because I, I for me it's very confusing, you know? But at the same time I think it's kind of cute though. But I don't see myself using it, that's a problem. Then you have this necklace. Same problem with the other necklace, I don't see myself using this one, even though it comes with a bracelet, wait a minute, there's a bracelet, and the bracelet, I can kind of see myself using it, but perhaps I'm just going to put on the stash of things that I plan to sell, because none of the thing is actually talking to me. Then I went to Wego, where I got just a couple of things. Yes, I got this like hair bubbles. So I have pastel colors hair bubbles now and they are like very elastic and like and perhaps I will not use it now because I just cut my hair yesterday <laughs> because I couldn't take it no more. Uh, but perhaps when my hair grows a bit I can actually do two pigtails on the sides, but we should wait and see. Then I got this baby. I know, it's one of the most ridiculous things i ever gotten. But you know what? It was too warm and I was wearing a freaking wool jacket and I was dying, like dying of heat. So I ended up buying this cool jacket that says awesome girl on the back. It's like pink and all fluffy here. I really like it, it's really awesome, I have to say. And it just, you open it like this. And you can, in fact, uh, remove this part here. Like, yeah. And now I'm just checking this as Junior Suite. So that's supposed to be for kids, so how is the deal? I don't understand. But yeah, I thought it was very, very, very cute. I think it, perhaps it will be too weird for Austria, but who cares? I don't care anymore. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to use it as much as I can. Then I got two more things for Wigo. Um, Wigo was like a hit and miss. They have a lot of cool things, right? I bought a beanie too that you will, you see in, on some of my videos. It's just a plain purple beanie because I lost my beanie when I, I don't know. I think I was visiting some tourist thing, I think, in in Kyoto and I lost it. I don't know what happened with it, but I lost it. The same happens with my gloves, so... Um, the other thing that I got was really this awesome, cute, like, pastel rainbow pompon. I thought it was amazing. And it was like, what? Two euros? Three euros? It was so cheap. I was just like... Yeah, give it to me. And I actually got one of these belts. Yeah because I've been losing some weight, so much weight lately that uh, some of my pants don't fit me properly anymore. And even in Japan, I was having the same troubles because I ended up taking a pair of pants that was still too big for me. And I ended up buying this for trying to fit it on, but at the end, I ended up donating it. Now, perhaps I regret it because I could actually sell it. It was from the ASOS collection with Hello Kitty. So, what? I got this one. It's extremely long and it's purple. That's nothing else to say. I think it costs like 5 euros or something like that. The next thing was Uniqlo. And Uniqlo, I got a couple of things, but not much in fact. Well, this is a huge bag. But the reality is that I only got shirts. 
like dress shirts. Um, here in Austria, the dress shirts for women, they're always like, they cut this until here, almost into your boobs. And I don't feel comfortable with that. And actually, I don't like that much freely shirts to use with the Lita either, because I don't know, it, it, it doesn't convince me, you know? I actually liked a bit of preppy look sometimes, so I just got shirts like, um, I got a navy one, right? This navy. And, and my Lita video, you saw that I got one with polka dots and I have a pink one too. A pink purplish one that I used um, when I went to Puroland, I think. Not, oh, it was this one, the one I used when I went to Puroland. Yes, it was this one, the one I used with Puroland. I got the only medium. They're pretty nice and I love the quality. So, yes, that's basically what I got from Uniqlo. Something that I could actually use very quickly. The next thing was on our last day in Japan, I decided that I really wanted to go to Alice on Wednesday. If you don't know what Alice on Wednesday is, is a gift shop that is actually inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And they have the one that is in Harajuku has like three floors of different things. On the first floor is candy, tea, biscuits, you name it. Anything that actually ate with tea or tea itself, they sell it there. Uh, I was too afraid to buy tea because you know, you know, customs, you know, all this thing. So I just don't want to go in through that. And the second floor was mostly accessories, ladies' accessories. And the third floor was bags and miscellaneous, like basically. So I went there on the last day. I think I have part of my last block in there. So you will see it once. It was released. I don't know when it's going to be released. If it, this video is going to be first before actually that one. And there I just got like this teeny tiny Alice in Wonderland inspired bow. It has actually a teeny tiny clock in there. And this one was very cheap. It was like 6 euros. Yes, 600 yen. Um, then I got, they come in this really teeny tiny beautiful bags. Then I bought this very beautiful Alice in Wonderland uh, key change and this one was um, 800 yen, close, close to a, uh, 8 euros, close, close but not completely, uh, it's like 7 euros something. I think, or perhaps even less. Yes, I love the detail. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, if I should just use it with a necklace or, I don't know, but it's really too beautiful. I wanted to put it on my neck, on my keys, but now I'm like, keys, better not. Um, by the way, this is the bag. And the last thing I got was this bag. And this bag I got it, especially because I thought it was pretty cool to use in summer. And I like the system that you can actually close it. It's a tote bag that you can actually close. So, look at it. And you can use it like this. So, they had it in different colors and this one was not even that expensive. There's, I saw a lot of girls using this kind of ones for carrying stuff in Japan. And there was one store that is it's called Le, Mas, Le Maison de blah blah blah. They were selling exactly the same ones but with their logo and they were so expensive. They were like 50 euros or something, like something really insane. I, I was really confused. Then I went to Alice on Wednesday and I think I paid 25 for this one. And the color is beautiful. I really love it and I think it's super nice. And I love that store. I fell in love with the store. So this one was one of my favorite buys, in fact. Then, yes, it's, there's still more to go. Then I went to a Kawaii Monster Cafe. Yes, this is a Kawaii Monster Cafe. And at Kawaii Monster Cafe, I didn't bought anything too fancy. I just bought this one. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Are you having? Are you working? I think it has run batteries already at this point. But yeah, it's like a lollipop. Some people actually took the wrapper off, but it's the lollipop and it's supposed to be like this. 
and I just bring some of the memories from it like a car and they give me like a loyalty card <laughs> and only buy like a, this thing, tiny thing like a button and I think that's it that I bought in there I didn't uh, bought anything else I just bought that one and I just took the coasters with me too was like pretty cool yeah so yeah there it goes there you go there go and yes this is the bag yeah it's pretty cool they made me go in the top and dance and this is from bubbles and paris kits i bought this awesome earrings from bubbles like bubbles have so many cool accessories like they are all cute but at the same time badass it kind of has like a, a bit of black bean kind of flavor into it and i really love it uh, i couldn't choose what i really wanted besides the shoes and you know what a disappointment but these earrings are like so spoke to me and i was like you come home with me those weren't cheap they cost me like eight euro something which i thought it was like a bit pricey because they're not silver they're not stainless steel but girl i could not leave them there so i got those and um, from paris kits i went to the sell section and i actually got a couple of really cool stuff from them uh, the first pair of earrings were these ones which i think they're absolutely adorable they're studs. I think I pay like two euros for them. Then I got those pink ones. Then I got these blue ones, like dandelion ones. And then I got the same blue ones, but in purple. And those are already used. And I really like, like it that much. I cannot wait to wear them. They're finally, I am, I'm showing to you everything. From two, two, na. Tutu Anna, yes, this is like a sock store, something like Calcedonia, the so socks and laundry, but I was, I went crazy with socks. I found this Care Bear Spire ones, because I don't think that's what the Care Bears, so yeah, those are very pretty. Then I got this ones that Andres, my husband, actually picked, they has this really lace detail in the back and I think they would look very beautiful with some of my hot chocolate um, design shoes that I have then perhaps I should just do a video about that so I got this ones. I have a white ones they got stained by the shoes from Bubbles they are all black now in the bottom really Bubbles what's wrong with you <laughs> and I have a pink ones too that they actually got stained by the Bubbles shoes too and I got these navy ones because I'm a navy girl. And thank God I didn't use these white ones. I'm planning to use these ones with my um, Sophia Webster um, sandals, confetti sandals from Puma in, in summer. And I got some leg warmers and blue. I wanted like I have pink ones, I have black ones, and now I have pastel blue ones. This is awesome. I was thinking to get like like uh, lilac ones, but I couldn't find it. Mm. Then I went to this DC rack. Yeah, I, I regret not to buy anything from the um, Powerpuff Girl collection. That's one of the things I regret the most. But I actually got pretty cool things too. I got these dripping high knee socks and I have this ones in two colors. I have this ones like that and I have the pink and blue ones. I think they will look pretty cool with any Lolita in any Lolita outfit or even if it's not Lolita if it's like a different um, different thing too. Yeah. Look, I was planning to use them. It's like dripping. Yeah. And these ones were like cheap too. They were like five euros each. Which is insane if you think about it. Yeah. And the girl who works there, she's American, at least in one of the stores in in Harajuku. And she was incredibly nice. She had the most pastel galaxy hair ever to die for. Like on point. 
Then I went to the Hello Kitty shop in Kittyland. In Kittyland, I didn't film. I don't know why. I was just like looking at everything and I couldn't decide to have this really huge display or like a sac sac cactus sakura. And I was like, my brain just unplugged. And I was just like, this is too expensive, but I want everything. At the end, I just end up getting some, there was like some sales in the Hello Kitty store that is in there. So I just end up getting some cinnamon roll uh, socks. They all came in a pack and I paid like 10 euros for them. There were like five of them or six of them. Um, I think there were five of them. So, yeah. And I think there's one missing. Yes, there's one missing. So there were five of them. They are like in this kind of socks so I can use with my cumbers in summer. So it's a perfect idea for me. And... We went to the Cinnamon Roll Cafe, and in the Cinnamon Roll Cafe, I think I just got like a Happy New Year postcard. I don't know if you can see it from there, yeah. And we got, um, I think I didn't bought anything in there. I just stole the placemat. I think you're supposed to take it because otherwise they trash it. I think it was really cute. I don't know exactly what to do with it, but. Plus, I will put some plastic on it and I will use it on my desk. Um, yes, from the Pom Pom Pudding Cafe, the napkins, and the, uh, what is this called? The coasters. Um, from the Gude Tama Cafe, as we got the coaster. And I got a sticker from the um, Cinema Roll Cafe. This is actually the dessert that I ate that day. So I thought it was cute. And I have the napkin also from the Cinema Roll Cafe. And the one in the Guretama Cafe didn't have anything. Like, didn't have any napkins like this. They actually have wet towels with, with um, Guretama, but we ended up using them. The other thing that we went were to... Mama Auto, the Ghibli Museum shop. And from there I got the first thing. I think it's here. Or it's on my backpack. I will try to insert a photo somewhere in the, <laughs> in the video. I bought like, um, how is this called? I bought a Kiki, a mini um, plush animal that actually is um, uh, like a key ring that I put in one of my bags. I will insert a photo somewhere so you can actually see it And I got like a mechanical pencil from Kiki delivery service If you know me, you know that I love Kiki delivery service and it's one of my favorite Ghibli studio films um, Besides Ponjo and all the classical ones, but Kiki just has a, whole, a special place in my heart I don't know why I just love that film and the merch is like on point. So I got this towel for your hands um people make fun of me around here because i always keep one of this with me in case i go to somewhere and they don't have paper and i just wash myself like this or it's just us cleaning my sweat when i go outside in the summer and i don't know everybody in latin america actually does that too but it seems around here is not a thing it's just an asian thing for them so they think it's like i, I just pick it up from asia no not really um actually bought some presents for my brothers from here too but those i already gave to them then i bought a kick a uh, gigi um <laughs> a gigi pin they have a lot of them but i actually deciphered that one and i bought a button that says ghibli studio this is like the shield of the museum and i bought a cake, a cake magnet. This is Ghibli Studio Museum. This one came in a package too, but I just took it out before actually coming to Austria. And the last thing I have here is one amazing thing. And I said it's one amazing thing because I spent the entire time that I went into that exhibition crying my ass off. 
<laughs> and I know this video is going to be super long. <laughs> so, I went to the Cat Cactor Sakura exhibition and I got like tons of things. I went insane there. That's one of the places that actually went insane and I was just I wanted to buy everything. But the exhibition was going to close in like two days, so it was my only opportunity to get anything. So from there I got the exhibition book. They has most of the arts and also I kept the one from the Sakura Cafe. But it was not that nice. Like that cafe was like me. Yeah, you, you were expected it has more decoration, but it's just one part of the museum uh, cafe that was inside that they actually put some decoration for character Sakura, so it's not that impressive. And I just got some of the illustrations in here. There are mostly illustrations, there's nothing else in here. And this is the character Sakura exhibition book. Then I got this one, which is the Cactor Sakura X um, Little Twin Stars uh, collection. I actually, I think I already showed that I bought another one of these ones, I think. No, I bought like a button, yes. And I bought like a clear case and a clear like, a clear folder, yes. This one was so expensive. This was like, like, like seven, eight euros something. Plus tax, plus taxes, which I think it was insane. I, I couldn't take it anymore, so I was. And I found her. It was so difficult to find. Then I got washi tape. Uh, this one doesn't even belong here. This one's from the Sailor Moon washi tape that I got. So you're in the wrong place, girl. So I got the character Sakura one. I got this one. Is the blue one? And this one is the pink one with the cherry blossoms on it. Um, this one, I don't know, has a different flower, but I don't remember the names. The girls in the exhibition told us which flower and then you needed to put the flower, that the sticker flower that they gave to you, one of the walls, and it was like a complete dynamic about it that I don't remember. Sorry. And... Um, I actually got teeny tiny clear files. This one, in fact, is a sticker that you put into your suitcase or something like that. Um, I don't know if I will do that, but yeah, why not? This one was, how much it was? I know it was expensive. I think it was like six or seven euros. Then I have these clear files that I don't know how many of them are in here. But I thought the art was so amazing. I'm just going to open them with you because I remember there are like four of them. Four or five of them. I'm not completely sure anymore. Or there are only two of them. Oh no, they are postcards. They are plastic postcards. Okay, yeah. So I have Shaoran. I have Sakura. I have Sakura and Tomoya, and I have Sakura again, and they are like acetate, cool, very pretty, and I got, I went a bit crazy with the clear files even though I'm not such a big clear file human, I would say it like this, I'm not such a big clear file, but the designs were so pretty. And then, you know, I just couldn't bear myself. For example, this one is one of my favorites. Like, and this one came with this one, and I'm, even though I'm not that excited about this illustration, I'm more excited about this one. Um, like, I think they're very beautiful. And they're transparent on the back, but the Cactor Sakura logo on the back. So I got this one, I had two clear files there. Then I got this one. I'm opening this now because in fact I haven't even opened it. So I got this one and, and the reason why I bought it was because of this one. So I got those two and those were expensive too. And the clear card that they give to you when you take it when you enter, they give me happiness one. I think they change it during the exhibition, they have different ones. So Andreas got one, I got one. I like the sound of Absodot. <laughs> so I got those. And besides the bag, obviously. The bag was expensive and it's so adorable. And I got uh, 
sketchbook. Like one of those clocky ones. And yes, it has character Sakura here. I figured I could give you some very nice use to this one. And I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. That's all the things I got from Japan. Uh, I don't know if I should do a stationary haul or not um, because I already put most of my stuff in there already and I don't know if it, that will make a bit of sense or not and I don't remember the prices of it but just tell me in the comments if you really really want a stationary haul and try out from all the stuff I got from Japan but you will have to tell me okay besides that that was it and I hope to see you guys soon. Always remember that if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video reel, um, ring the bell notifications down there. Subscribe if you want to be part of these curiosos. And I guess see you next time. Stay groovy. Bye.